Hello, hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to share um, some strategies on how to add decimals. One of the common mistakes that I've noticed um, from my students is many students totally ignore the decimal point and then they will go straight to the digits. They'll just focus on the digits only. You do not want to do that because if you do that, you are 100% going to get the problem incorrect. So let me show you some strategies of how to make sure that you're always correct 100% of the times. All right, so first we're going to start with 5 and 1300. This is this digit right here. So you have 5 holes and 1300. Over here you have 24 holes and 5 tenths. So we're going to go ahead and place our numbers first. I'm going, to res I'm going to write the problems over. So I'm going to write 5, 1,300. No, this is where the trick comes in, okay? Place your decimal point for the next number, okay? If you notice on this particular number, the number right adjacent to the decimal point is a 5. That means five must also be adjacent to the decimal point. So place it right here. Take a look in front. There's a four in front. You know what that means? It means you have to place a four in front of your decimal point, which means it's gonna be placed right under the five. Now there's a two in front of the four, so that has to be placed in front of the four. Now it looks like that. Looks very weird, right? I know. So one of the things you can do to make it look more uniform is to add some zero, include some zero. These zeros are called insignificant digits. It means that it does not affect the value of your number, okay? So it basically has no value. It's just a placeholder. And now you can clearly see that our place value are in line. So let's go ahead and add our numbers. We're going to get 0 plus 3. We're going to get 3. 5 plus 1, or 1 plus 5. You're going to get 6. Place your decimal point down. 5 plus 4 is going to be a 9. And 2 plus 0 is going to be 2. So my final answer is 29 and 6300s. Okay, wonderful. I will see you next time.